should be coming in live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today, today is April 18th, 2021. And we're doing a live stream open discussion on comic books. Uh, basically a comic book haul. This is our comic book haul number 48, I believe and uh it's a nice haul it's uh, mainly modern age comics i think there's like a handful of uh, bronze age and uh, there's 144 of them okay as well we have a care package that was sent our way by crack one of the people uh, that's active here as uh sort of a I believe I don't know what it is I think it's a filler uh, it was is related to the previous comic book haul that we did slick Mick how are you doing been waiting the game man. how are you doing <laughs> me too I wish I set it up at like nine o'clock I was like ready to go I'm like okay I want to crack this open this thing's been sitting here it's a short box by the way it's 144 comics it's a bigger short box than the previous <laughs> short box and it's from the same seller I had to try it out, but I'll give him one a uh, lowdown. Cheryl, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hooray and hi. <laughs> hello, hello. There's some nice, uh, nice hauls here. Here, let me show you um, while you guys wait. X, how are you doing? For the early, uh, early people here, here's the comic book haul. Check it out. There is uh, Batgirl. Okay, the 2000 and the 2000 series, her first series. It's. Uh, it's like 27 25 comics from that um actually 27 from that run and then the 2000 and the new 52 uh 2004 i believe uh series so there's number nine number two to nine but i didn't see uh, two might be there might not be there i didn't see the pick in there crack how are you doing <laughs> crack i got your package here <laughs> uh whoa after years of watching you i'll finally see you live ah jackie too wacky hello hello how are you doing welcome to our twitch live streams and thank you for following for a long time proletariat paratola chicho how are you my friend doing well thank you very much thank you very much ding bauer how are you welcome welcome hopefully everyone's having a good sunday hcho what's good uh, looking forward to the lyrics well looking for i gotta get mine ready I, I know one track and the other one i usually pick two lyrics that i want to read the other one is, is is there's a few that i have so i gotta narrow it down uh i gotta print it off and i have to read it a few times i've just been humming them or singing them verbing whatever it is right it's like my google or doodoo i <laughs> used the pdt to gmt converter and it told me you were going love and uh, live an hour ago oh really pooper scooper google doodoo indeed doing great awesome 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 now it <laughs> cracks like thumbs up and then the, what else we have we have x machina okay 2004 series the first series and we got two lots of random comics and there's some really good ones in there uh, like ones that i've i don't have in my collection that i wanted in my collection and some of the stuff i'm you know we'll see we'll see what it is i don't i don't think some of the key ones are first prints there's no way they'll be first prints uh there's going to be some second prints on on here we'll check them uh, there's one and I usually when I see random comic book lots on eBay um, that I want to that I look at from a seller that I know um, I sort of start looking up each one that they've listed to see what they are and that sort of sort of research right gives me history of certain things and there's one comic book here that I was like blown away of what it contains so I'm really hyped for that one out of 144 comics right Indian small press halls as well. Yeah, Indian small press, indeed. V loving it, loving it. I love this kind of comic book haul. Back from the 80s, reporting for duty. <laughs> awesome, Elder God. There's some 80s comics in here, Elder God. Some you're gonna love. So let me take this down. I'm just gonna give a quick intro and then we're gonna hop to it. My name is politically char <laughs> charged before anyone asks. <laughs> 
<laughs> no kidding. Floritarian parrot. Funny. I have so many comics on their way to me in the mail. Do you? Awesome crack. You got to just start doing comic book hauls. I've seen some of your pics on uh, Twitter. Um, so the fun times, the fun times. I don't go there often, uh, like barely once a week now. And that's just to check a message. Uh, there's one person I'm communicating with there. And that person is either going to go on Telegram or hop on Discord with us. And we're just going to talk on there. So basically, I'm off Twitter. <laughs> off Twitter. <laughs> Gang, if you know, if you want to know what this is all about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, which is basically layered on mathematics. Patreon is a great way to follow this work. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's creative comments. Share and share alike. For those of you that were supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you for the support. I'm doing some writing. This summer, we're going to do a little bit of mathematics writing, put some exercise and solutions together, and maybe possibly complete a module, maybe by the end of the summer. I'm going to see what I can do about it. I want to get the wording right. I'm massaging the wording in my head and writing down some stuff. I want to I want to make sure I'm approaching this in a way that people are going to appreciate what the language of mathematics is and give them juice to learn it, right? I do halls on booktube. <laughs> do you crack? I haven't, I haven't been there <laughs> to your channel. Maybe I have. I can't remember now. <laughs> booktube, funny, funny. Uh, Twitter is controlled by the capitalist surveillance system, so I don't blame you for getting off. Yeah, um, that, that's it. We're done. I'd be shorting the shit out of Twitter if I was doing trading <laughs> on their stock. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dolphin. Dolphin, how are you doing? Dolphins are cool. Dolphins are very sexually active. Crazy. We are live streaming this on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Gang, for those of you that are supporting this work on Twitch, thank you very much for the support. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for being here live. Thank you for participating. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the points. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. Uh, Cheryl, <laughs> Dolphin says we are. I enjoy them when I catch them. Okay, introduce uh, some neat lines. Parlor is my Twitter. Yeah, I can't get on. Uh, Elder God, I was trying to announce the, the stream on Parlor. Parlor is down for the last two weeks, basically. Half the time I'm trying to get on parlor, parlor is down, parlor is being attacked, right? So, good thing we're also <laughs> announcing things on minds, right? So, you can follow this work, and I do announce these streams 30 minutes before we go live on uh, on Twitch, on parlor, minds, VK, and Gab, right? So, you can follow the work there, and I've been on minds and Gab longer than I was on. Maybe no, I got on Twitter early, but I didn't really do anything on Twitter. I didn't like it from the get go. Uh, but and then I got on, and then I realized why I didn't like the <laughs> controlled, 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 right? Slick make, thank you very much for the tier one sub, appreciate it. Uh, but I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, Mines, VK, and Gab. Okay, and we do have a Discord page, gang, and you can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want and type in exclamation mark social and all the links for all those platforms will be there including our discord link down here right and we actually have a discord command too discord command too and if you type in exclamation mark discord on chat we don't have to be live whenever you whenever you want and you'll get the links and the links will be in the description of this video and all that jazz right for live streams when we don't have any visuals, which we do today, we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. And those podcasts should be available on your favorite uh, podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. Thanks, Sargazza. Twitter is just a sad full of pain. That's on. It's brutal. <laughs> it's a parlor for right-wing exit. Uh, it's a platform. I, I don't understand. It's like saying a road is for this type of people a road is a road is a road whoever that wants to can travel that road right to me 
all these platforms they don't have a political uh attachment to them right the, the, only, the only political attachment to them is if they censor and if they don't censor i i'm staying away from platforms that censor right so th my political leaning regarding using technology is if that technology the people controlling that technology the flow of information er, all that if they're censoring if they're censoring i try to stay away from them right or reduce my usage of them and if they're free speech that's the direction i go and parlor is free free speech uh as far as i know right so i just announced there all right good afternoon chicho black light 20 how are you doing hope you're doing well chat is the archaeology folder in the archaeology folder i'm really lonely <laughs> i know we created that for you man <laughs> Long time no see, Mwendela. Black light, how are you doing? Fun. Should we do a comic stream? We're going to do a comic stream. Oh, hold on. And I also am uploading videos to Sensor 2, BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Everything, everything goes to BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Okay. Barring any technical difficulties, which we haven't had really. Right. So everything goes to BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. If you want to, if you want to, see what we're doing in its entirety uncensored right unfiltered other than chicho filter on there right you want to be on bitchute rumble odyssey they are platforms you can follow the work there selective content is being uploaded to sensor tube comic book videos are one of the things that will be uploaded to sensor tube and there's a handful of you that are supporting this work through sensor tube gang thank you for the support i really appreciate it i've been there on sensor tube since 15 years now right got 33,000 followers and there's a handful of you that decided to support this work through sensor tube membership and kudos to you man more power to you you're carrying other than of course you know the collective support we're getting on twitch and patreon and the other the other support that we're getting right including care packages but man respect respect i'm gonna take these down 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 and down let's get to the comic books let's get to the comic books no that's why i don't participate in some video stream politics stream leave it to politics stream what's the difference between moderation and censorship um leave it to the politics stream we're going to do a politics stream later on. Let's do comic books. I came to see comics. Let's take a... Th Tony, how are you doing? Let's see. Gang, first thing, before we get into the short box, okay? And let me give you the short box. The short box, here's the spreadsheet for it, okay? There's 144 comics in there, mostly modern age, handful of uh, Bronze Age, okay? There's a couple of runs, Batgirl, Axe Machina, and two halls totaling, uh, what is that, 80 one comic books of randoms right from the modern age from the 1980s 90s and 2000s i guess okay so total 144 comics and including shipping it came out to 90 cents us a pop now this is the same seller that i bought last time where the comic books ended up costing like 60 dollars and the shipping was 32 dollars and it was like oh too much shipping too much shipping right so half the cost of the comic books was shipping but i decided to buy from the seller again and if it was going to charge 32 dollars for shipping then i was going to just going to buy more comics to distribute out the cost right so the total cost of the comics that i ended up buying was 94 dollars this time right 30 dollars more than last time we spent and then he sent me the shipping bill the shipping bill uh combined shipping came out to 45 dollars so i was like damn that's crazy right so i messaged the guy i go listen and i've bought, we've bought from this guy before i bought from this guy before so i messaged the guy i said listen i realize shipping costs have gone up but 45 dollars to ship internally within canada and he's in canada right for this many comic books i've paid way less going through ebay's shipping program and it's coming from the states right so i said it's pretty heavy you know i'll pay it if you want me to but it seems a little unreasonable and then he contacted me and said oh that's the cost that he gets quoted from the shipper 
when they ship to a PO box because they're the only shipper that ships to a PO box. He said that if I gave him a home address, then he could go through UPS and it'd be a lot cheaper. So I said, okay, sure, I'll you know save another twelve dollars or something like this, right? So eleven dollars, I guess eleven dollars. So I said, okay, sure, I gave him my home shipping address instead of the PO box, and the shipping came out to thirty-five dollars US. Okay, just so you know where the shipping's coming from, which is a third of the cost. Uh, more than a little bit more than a third of the cost of uh, of the whole buy okay but all in all near mint minus very fine near mint to near mint near mint plus 144 comics bagged and boarded for 90 cents a pop good deal okay especially when you take a look at what's inside it okay but let's look at a care package now this care package came from crack and it's it's related to the previous comic book haul that we did which is from the same seller okay oh slick make what happened with the grandma oh is the uh, grandmother passed away recently and we've been cleaning out the house found a stash of 70s 80s comics my uncle owned oh fantastic on the comics sorry to hear about your grandma uh, that's unfortunate was that your last grab grandparent slick mick i still need to watch seven samurai oh i watched it a couple of days ago i elder god you're gonna love seven samurai so gang this is a care package from crack it's related to the previous comic book haul and in the message he didn't tell me what it was but he said it was in relation to our previous haul so let's take a look nice packaging job by the way gotta show the packaging <laughs> nice packaging job right and what does it say here watch your last comic book haul um a twitch stream and saw you miss these enjoy this is crack's message check this out <laughs> awesome thanks crack 35 dollars us for a short box pack that seems that seems reasonable crack 45 didn't 45 seemed really high to me 45 seemed really high to me but this fantastic <laughs> let's check it out let's check it out Oh, <laughs> nice! Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get in there way too fast, man. I'm trying to get in there way too fast. Cool. Let's take this up. Nice packaging. That's a good way of doing it. Cool, cool. Nice. Let's put this guy here. <laughs> awesome. I can read it. I can read it now. I can read it from the beginning. Oh, this got torn. Oh, pulled tape too fast. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I got way too excited. Nice. Look at this. I'm going to pull these out. <laughs> nice. 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 Oh, sweet. Oh, there. Oh, that's the gold edition of the. Oh, dude, you filled it. What? Crazy. Check this out. Check this out check this out hope i dig it dude this is great this is great i should have brought my bags and boards here bag and board them right away uh, check this out so in the last haul we one of the hauls we got one of the hauls we got 
It's not me. No worries at all. It's my pleasure. Thanks, man. I've been doing the eBay thing lately, so my skills at uh, packing have to be sharp. Have to be sharp. I'm definitely clipping this. Check this out. So in the last haul, we got uh, three comic, three comic runs basically. Some runs of uh, series, right? One of the ones we got. What was Terry Moore's Strangers in Paradise? Right, the second series, and we got the gold edition of issue number two, that which is the reprint, but it's from the first series. Check this out Strangers in Paradise number one, the reprint from uh 2000, and, no, uh 1998. When was the reprint crack? Um, this was let me look into it uh, 1997. 1997 right so this is this is the first story of strangers in paradise correct me if i'm wrong crack i'm pretty sure this is the first story right i got number two in the hall right here is <laughs> number three and the first series was three issues right three issues long so this is the first we i now have and my partner is going to freak right i've been telling her she needs to read this she needs to read terry more she needs to read terry more i'm going to give her this to read i'm going to read them and then i'm going to give her to read it right so we got number one we got number two correct just send us one and number three right i think you're right chicho it's the fir uh, first story it is the first story awesome okay this is number three okay and then the series continued in the second series okay and in that hall we had number two started off with number two we didn't have number one now we got number one so we can continue the series read one two and three and then hop into the second series the continuing series and go one and then read all the way to i forget what number we had i'm assuming we're missing number eight <laughs> Because here's number eight, right? Awesome, awesome. It's a solid read. Read them before I sent them. Awesome, crack. Fantastic. I'm so happy. Have you read the, uh, the continuing, the whole thing? Strangers in Paradise. People swear by this game. Strangers in Paradise. I swear by Terry Moore. Like, Terry Moore is phenomenal, right? One of the greatest comic book creators of all time, period. End of story. And here's number 23, all right? And there are some serious comic book aficionados, huge collectors that comic book owners, uh, like people that I've known personally and who love comic books, who know a lot about comic books, they consider Strangers in Paradise to be one of the greatest series of all time, period. Okay, so, and it's, I've read some of it, a uh, long time ago okay uh, i liked it okay but i didn't never read the first story okay i haven't read it all no it's the next collected edition i want to grab yeah man everyone raves everyone raves about it in the comic book <laughs> medium everyone raves about strangers in paradise and crack thank you very much i started reading american flag because that's from number one i could continue it right and i i wasn't going to read strangers in paradise one is going to start again until i had number one so dude awesome awesome let's put this here let's put this here very cool very cool thank you brother appreciate it appreciate it very much gang should we look at the comic book hall should we look at the comic book hall i'm going to pop this up again this is what we got in this hall okay 144 books so oh this is one of these guys too that opens up this is a this is a long short box this is like a medium box okay no the kitty cats just woke up and I just fed them before the live stream. So that thing that you're hearing, click, 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 uh, is them trying to cover their food, <laughs> whatever they haven't read. Look at this thing. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Crazy box. Yeah. take this down and I'm gonna give you the lowdown on some of the comics here um, I looked up some of the other ones so let's put this here and this guy's a good seller man he's a really good seller. I wish I wish I had bought some of the comics that he had uh, like I've been buying from the seller for seven years at least online I wish I bought some of the lots he was selling seven years ago. Okay. Pack, <laughs> pack, well, it's a pack box. Check this out, he's put them together as well. Which one is this? This one, he's listed on a lot 85 and he's packages them really well. Yeah, guys. start off with let's start off with this guy because this is all packaged up in one let's see let me crack open this one i don't know this is 85 he lists them uh finally a professional this guy's good man this guy's good as far as uh, shipping stuff goes this one is uh that's one of the reasons i I was really disappointed oh this one's x machina okay so this one's x machina and uh this is written by brian k vaughn which is paper girls and a whole bunch of other stuff and art by tony harris and tom fesser and stuff like this and they ca this came out in 2004 and this is supposed to be let me crack it open we ended up paying 1305 for this lot okay and it's X Machina, X Machina number one to 19 and then 21 to 26. And it's got the special number one. <laughs> Let me sort this out. Okay. And he listed these things uh, as near mint, unread copies. Okay. So let's crack this open. Let's crack this open and look at the covers. This guy has been selling a ton of comics for a very long time. And it's funny, he used to have a lot more, uh, lots and big packages and he blew through a lot of those and he sold some amazing books that like there's lots that i've seen him sell like six years ago okay that i try to get my hands on that were going for like 500 you know there's a whole bunch of comics in there i wish i bought them like one of them contained he sold a few lots of lobo number uh that had lobo number two number um uh, one in them the cowboy one that we read okay and it was all, all the book was almost in near mint condition Ooh, that would have been really loud and should do this here so. and that lot everything that he sold in that lot right now would have sold for probably like six thousand dollars okay that he sold like 500 like five years ago six years ago
and he's a really nice guy. <laughs> awesome. I read some of this uh, and I liked it. Uh, and I'm glad to have this. Uh, I read it as trades. I think I have to trade here, one of the trades anyway. So this is X Machina. And the comic is definitely in, uh, you know, minimum near mint condition or near mint minus. Brian K. Vaughan, Tony Harris, Tom Fester. Check that out. X Machina, number one. And gang, don't forget, Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a journalist and publisher that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Censored. Censored. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. Assange crack what I read of uh, that series I remember liking it as well have you read yeah I've read a, a huge chunk of why the last month I haven't finished it I read the uh, I read more than half of why the last man and it's fantastic gang highly recommend reading why the last man okay. <laughs> Skeletor Skeletor does it matter who the person what his character is if he's revealing war crimes of centralized power do not get confused about what someone releases what they do for humanity and their character Skeletor okay I don't care if a person is an a-hole or a nice guy if they're a nice guy and they're trying to enslave humanity they can kiss my ass if they're an a-hole and they're trying to free humanity they're on my good list now that was some good timing with that comic cover indeed <laughs> crazy eh? crazy crack crazy crack right synchronicity it just sometimes just does it right excellent and these covers are phenomenal right beautiful beautiful that's number seven here's number six i'm assuming this is check this out this is a double cover so i'm going to hold it up so you see the beauty the glory of it here's number seven solo right here's number six and seven no he doesn't skeletor you're confused you need to you, you need to stop watching mainstream corporate propaganda right i highly recommend following jimmy Dore or action for assange or aaron mate to find out what's really going on all of that stuff that you've heard uh, has been propaganda. It's just like Iraq and WDMs, weapons of mass destruction, and all of that crap. You were lied to, and the incubator babies. And here's number eight. Right. Here's two copies of number eight. We got two copies of number eight. Number nine, this one's got a little ding on the corner. Ah, thank you, Elder God. If people are confused, they're confused. What can you do? No. You're just confused. But anyway, you can talk about this in politics, brother. Let's talk about comic books. Look at this. X Machina. We can take it to politics. Beautiful. Number 11. Number 11. Number 12. Nice covers. Nice covers number 13 this one's beautiful he did a he did a tech upgrade maybe thank you for the follow a full lull. i missed the name number 14 <laughs> oh 
Ah, Skeletor, take it. Take it to the politics folder. We'll talk in politics folder. I'll give you all the info you want. All the info you want. X Machina number 15. Very nice, very nice. This was the first series you read with a photorealistic style, really. It was, uh, I like the artwork in it, what I've read of it. Um, it was, it took some getting used to. What is X Machina about? X Machina is, I read it a while ago. It was basically a guy who has this, uh, he's, it's very political leaning, right? It's not superhero, it's tech. It's, uh, it's not, uh, what do you call it, steampunk, but it's, um, what's the genre? Took me a bit to get used to it, uh, Crack says. Uh, same thing with Sean, Sean Phillips on the Criminal series. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's, it's very political leaning. Uh, I don't remember too much of the intricacies of the story right it's a slow paced comic indeed okay very slow paced i mean of, for sure i mean this cover tells you how much of a political series this is right it you know what looking at these covers it makes me want to sit down and fully read the series especially with the censored cover uh, from page two right that's one of the reasons uh the person here skeletor 2613 is so confused right because they've been censored up the yin yang so they're they don't know what they're talking about right which is you know lady liberty in chains and censored and stuff like this crack vaughn says he saw the towers go down and had a lot of frustration with political leaders on both sides and this book was the end result really okay cool i really want to read the series now really um i have from what i read of uh, vaughn he writes amazing stories very well thought out right uh he's not a fanatic uh and he has a lot of good political commentary in his comics right there's a beautiful cover by the way 22. oh look at this wow 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 very very 9-11 uh overtones to it right especially regarding firefighters that uh, sacrificed a lot a lot right and they were thrown away uh discarded by the centralized government so uh, really this just looking at the covers makes me want to uh, read this i'd actually like to read it again he's a great writer he's a great writer indeed amazing world builder and uh character developing uh developing amazing characters right. very happy to have this in my collection i don't have this in my collection aside from one or two trades and i read some of it out of the library back in the day right. yeah totally it totally discarded by centralized power the firefighters and the first responders horrendous horrendous right beautiful so that was number 26 here's x machina special number one. Oh, he's got two copies of number one two copies of number one okay uh brian k vaughn here's the here's his last name uh, check to take a look there's his last name on, on the top Vaughn and then Spruce uh, story and Mettler I guess Knights of Old Comic how are you doing and here's the special number two fantastic great haul great haul great haul like if you look at the here's the spreadsheet for it here's the spreadsheet I bought all of these x machina for 1305 for 27 comics 48 cents a pop bagged and boarded ranging from very fine near mint uh to near mint near mint plus right 
Gain. Collecting comics is an expensive hobby, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. Like if you were going to read this, this would be, it would take you a good weekend to read all this, right? Weekend entertainment for $13 plus whatever the shipping would have been. That's a heck of a price. Heck of a price. Okay. So let's get the rest going. Let me show you. Let me show you what else we got. I'm going to show you the runs first and then we'll get into the randoms. Okay. So check this out. We got Batgirl. 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 What are these guys? These are all the randoms. Nice, nice. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, very. Oh, what? He threw this in there. What is. Why are these guys in here? I don't remember. These are some random stuff you had in here. Hopefully, she sent me the right boxes yeah it seems to be but there's other stuff here maybe the pictures weren't in there uh, so we couldn't put all the pictures because there's a lot of pictures uh, why is this here okay let me check this out I think he might have sent me some extra comics I gotta check with them okay check this out Daniel, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Check it out, check it out. Okay, let's move this over. Okay, so this is this is uh, priest Chicho. People just don't do enough digging in back issue bins. The books that can be found for cheap is amazing. Crack. That's the kicker for me, right? Like you guys know, I spend a fair bit of money on comics. Uh, it's my where my expense goes. Right? And I consider sort of investing and in I'm doing it as my business is this sharing it, making the ASMR math videos, reading them and stuff like this and talking about the history and whatnot. But you can get some amazing, amazing stuff for dirt cheap, right? That's one of the reasons I'm doing these hauls, 144 comics. This stuff would take you a month to read, right? A month of the entertainment for 100. Well, what did we end up paying? Month of entertainment, more than a month of entertainment for $130 US, right? And once you read it, other members in the family can read it. It's, it just keeps on giving. You can reread them because they're amazing stories, right? New book can be expensive, but they are, are they all um, end up at $1 bins at some point. Yeah, a lot of them, right? Have to dig at a local comic shop to find some gems. Also have to dig on eBay to get good prices. Yeah, agreed, Tony, right? So this is Batgirl, okay? There's 36 comics here. It's the first series from 2000. Issue number one to, here, let me let me tell you the issues. Well, I won't tell you all the issues but because we're going to see them. But basically, open this up. Uh, we got Batgirl. Issue number one, uh, all the way to 28, missing number 20, and then 55, 56, 57, and then 67, and then annual. And then new 52 should be issue number two, three, uh, four, six, eight, nine. And they're graded, uh, on, they're unread near mint condition, right? And we got this for 1750 US. Okay. Boop, boop. <laughs> I'm gonna take the chart down. Let's look at the covers. Chicho loves comics and is uh, high in desire. <laughs> Fun. Check this out. Batgirl number one. Right. First series. Crazy. The first series of Batgirl came out in 2000, not before that. Right. I'm gonna put this in order because he put that because that's. Uh, those are the things please help me not to die bat girl number two nice bat girl number three 
Batgirl number four and it looks very anime style I haven't read any of this I haven't read any of this okay and the writer is uh, what was his name Kelly Puck Pluck Pucket Kelly Pucket Peterson Scott uh, Cam Mount Pila I haven't read any of this I don't know what this is like and gang don't forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of power to humanity okay. for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on censor to Batgirl number seven No more Batgirl. Batgirl number eight. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Batgirl TV series. Batgirl number nine. Where's your favorite place to read comics? Chair, desk, bed. Uh, it depends. Uh, couch is good. Laying out in the sun on the beach is amazing, or in the patio, just getting some rays and reading comic books. I love reading comic books uh, at the beach. Uh, graphic novels usually, but I take some beat up comics that I have to comic uh, to the beach as well and read comics on the beach. I love reading in the beach, uh, but in bed on the couch. The one other thing you forgot: Knights of Old Comics, uh, sitting on the on the altar uh, in the bathroom right did they do batwoman series yeah i watched the first episode of the batwoman series and didn't even finish it i could not watch that crap yeah crack they did do not watch it it's horrendous at least the first three quarters of the first or half of the first episode was number 12. oh bad girls beating the crap out of a cop Boom. <laughs> number 14. Right. nice covers very pretty here's number 15. this is with joker this is a beautiful joker by the way check that out nice joker cover Batgirl or Joker shoots both Batgirl and Batman on the cover anyway. Right. Daredevil is the best comic. Daredevil was a fantastic best comic book series. Uh, I wouldn't say movie. The movie was pretty bad. <laughs> the Daredevil movie. The Daredevil TV series was fantastic. A Legion TV series is fantastic. The Batwoman comic was fantastic. Yeah, I know. I still don't have it. Uh, I've tried to get my hands on it, but I haven't yet. I haven't yet. Here's number 17. The artwork for Bat, uh, Batwoman looks so good. So good. So good. Number 18. I read a lot of comics on the bus or in car growing cars yeah I couldn't read in the car got uh, motion sickness with Walkman on nice road trips with folks as a kid lots of good reading nice crack bad girl Ah, this one's pretty cool. Look at that. Nice artwork. Very artistic or stylistic. Look at that. Beautiful artwork. Very nice. That's number 22. Here's number 23.
number 24 very manga-ish the covers look at that that's a nice cover very cool nice cover 25 I haven't heard too much about the series nice cover as well 26 beautiful cover rest in peace Vesper Catherine Fairchild October uh, 20, uh, 14 1973 to 22 I don't know what that's that's in reference to yeah this one's 2000 series Elder God yeah it's the first the Batgirl series which actually amazing uh, amazing to me that it's the first Batgirl series so we're missing number 20 it goes up to 28 and then there's a handful here as well there is 55 war games 56 nice cover very nice cover look at that beautiful cover really look at that number 57 beautiful yeah 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 this is a three issue uh, war games act three of three of oh, is it three oh part six of eight act three so i don't know what this crossover would have been with it was some kind of batman but this one's beautiful too look at that very nice these two covers are phenomenal look at this liking these two covers Fifty six and fifty seven. Here's sixty seven. Okay. And then here's the Batgirl annual, two thousand annual number one. So all of these were from the two thousand series. Okay. And here's the new fifty two. yeah it doesn't include number two he said it included number two but it doesn't so here's number three so this came out in 2004 i believe hindi su hindi welcome to our live stream here's number four way more serious tone to this and less anime style here's number five people have a love and hate relationship with the new 52 when dc launched it here's number six i think this one is one of the more expensive ones from this series i don't know why Batman appearance maybe here's number eight and here's number nine nice very glad to have these I didn't have these in my collection so now let's take a look at these guys i swear 
swear these ones are not supposed to be in there. I'm gonna go through the ones that I know that were supposed to be in the lot. Cause I think he I think he's included some books that he wasn't supposed to send, so I gotta contact him. I think I need to add these to my collection. <laughs> oh my god, crack. I think it's uh, James Jean on those covers you liked. Just did a uh, quick search. Looks like he did some covers for the oh, Fable series as well. Oh, yeah, that had a very much Fables feel to it. And Fables is a fantastic series. I don't have it in my collection, I've read the trades on it. Very good. Nice old comic. I don't think I've read a DC comic since Jim Lee first did Batman series. Wow. Okay, here we go. This, this, this for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna order these so I can take a look at them. Their covers showing. There we go. Okay, let me flip this around. Check this out. Nice, nice, nice. Let me leave some of these. Okay. Now, this lot. This lot, Cheryl. Oh, fables. That that's uh, an idea to include as an option in a future reading set yeah fables is really good gang uh fantastic series who wrote that that's um i forgot who the writer for that is let me tell you what we got here this is the lot that ended up costing uh, ba -da -ba -dum -bum -bum. this came in a 42 lot 42 comics ended up costing 22 22 okay and in these small press so let me bring up the table um, willingham i think willingham okay so this is the 42 lot that you see there indian small press 42 books 22 22 so 53 cents bagged and boarded this first thing bill willing willingham okay cool 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 thank you crack so let's take a look take a look at this <laughs> this is one of the quintessential comic book series that is a must read okay now i've read the manga of these okay and i don't have this in my collection now there's no way this is a first print but lone wolf and cub number one in comic book format introduction by frank miller cover by frank miller okay the the lone wolf of Com cub is uh kazu koki and goseki kojiman <laughs> brutalizing the names <laughs> okay there's absolutely no way this is the first print it's mint condition All right but I have to check it. I have to check it. I have to check to see what print this is. <laughs> Absolute classic. If you've never Elder God, if you haven't read Lone Wolf and Cub, you need to read Lone Wolf and Cub. Like this is 1980. This came out in 19. Let me give you the info on this. Absolute classic. Also, I love those uh, movies. Never read the com. The comics are amazing, Gary. Gary from the Mitten, like the movie, like the movie. But the comics are to a certain degree better. Okay. Uh, do I have Lone Wolf and Cub opened up, man? I hope so. X Machina, Bone Meta Baron. Where is Lone Wolf and Cub? Oh, I thought I had it opened. Maybe I do. Oh, here we go. Lone Wolf and Cub. This came out in 1997 okay 1997 now it's either a first print uh <laughs> or or not <laughs> so let me check this out let me check this out 
Like it hasn't even been, been opened yet. What printing is this? This is I think there's three different printings. English translation 1987. No way. This can't be the first print. <laughs> it's the first first call. It's the first print. <laughs> Sweetness. What the hell? I can't believe we got this whole lot. 42 comics. First print of Lone Wolf and Cub. <laughs> For 22.22. What the hell? Yeah. I can't believe it. What a deal. What a deal. And then here's a foreword with Frank Miller. Written. Like this. I can't even crack it. Like the spine hasn't even been cracked. It hasn't even been cracked. Like, seriously, like, I can't even do it, right? Read this series, The Manga Gang. I read this series. Uh, I went to the books, um, the library, and read the manga sets of them. I don't know how many I read. I read, like, I don't know, a few years ago. Uh, I can't believe this is a first print. What a steal. What a steal what a steal and there's another 41 books with this lot <laughs> he wasn't scared of the shogun but the shogun was scared of him maybe that was the problem haha <laughs> indeed they come after you so okay these foamy things are really annoying let's get rid of the foamy things like you even put this stuff just to make sure it's packed nicely nice seller really straight up but i don't like these foamy things they're gross Let's show. Let me stick to you. Let me show you what else we got. Nights of and Chicho. It's funny how you're one of the only people I've never seen with a phone in their hand. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> My phone is usually off. Check this out. Here's the rest of the comics in this lot. Ray Bradbury. Comics number one from Tops. Awesome. <laughs> I probably have this in my collection. <laughs> Check this out. To my Canadian brothers and sisters. North Guard number one. North Guard number one. I didn't know there was a North Guard. This isn't his first appearance. Okay. North Guard number one. And it's done by a Canadian uh, creator. Here's Lone Wolf and Cobb. These are like trade paper format, prestige format. Number 12. Awesome. 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 Okay. Foam peanuts. The shop Lush uh, has been doing biodegradable peanuts. Yeah. You can wash them down the drain. You can wash them down the drain. Really? North Guard. Never heard of that. Yeah, I hadn't either until this lot. Right? And his first appearance is... I'll, I'll show you actually. Uh, here's Lone Wolf of Cub number... 28 <laughs> and the kitty cats is like come on it's sunny outside take us outside <sighs> number 28 number 29 what a deal what a deal what a deal it's an incredible read I, it, by the way uh, crack is it the reprints of the manga I'm assuming it's the reprints of the manga okay check this out bernie wrightson masters of macabre nice nice bernie wrightson classics i believe these are reprints okay number three bernie wrightson and these are fantastic shape i mean this next one is a little bit rougher but bernie wrightson are all the single issues Frank Miller covers as well? I believe so. Yeah. I believe so. Crack. 
Here's number four. Yes, reprints for Lone Wolf or Cub. Awesome. Awesome. Check this out. Uh, Cheryl, Northgar's name it, uh, isn't Benton Fraser, is it? Actually, that would be awesome. Benton Fraser, I don't know. I don't know who Benton Fraser is. Here, since we're on Northgard, let me show you Northgard. This one popped up. Northgard first appeared. Check this out. It's a Canadian superhero created by Canadian artists. Uh, crack, I'm assuming, yes, Chicho. I've never actually read a single issue before. I've only read those small collected books yeah same here those are the ones that i've read nice on the bernie right and stuff indeed indeed check this out here is north guard first has made his first appearance a new triumph featuring north guard number one and this is number two okay number two elder god north guard is the costume identity of philip phil wise a video store manager yeah i read the intro the thing to it and so i'm gonna read it video store manager um manager and comic book enthusiast who was enlisted by progress progressive ally canadian technologies pact corporation to help them combat an extreme right-wing terrorist organization known as das mandas an abbreviation for manifest destiny that was bent on overthrowing the canadian government North Guard number three. Was that number three? Yeah. And then here's North Guard number five. So crack as Canadians, I think we need to get this collection. Right? Brenton Fraser, the R RCMP led in the show Do South. Oh, bad joke. Sorry, but it was a great show. Was it a great show? I think I remember that show. So those are the North Guards. Here, let me put this here let's keep on looking at these guys take a look at this nice these two i don't remember that were supposed to be in there but maelstrom number one okay you think so as well <laughs> crack yeah <laughs> It's on my list. It's on your list now. Nice. Here's uh, Maelstrom number three. Right? Oh my god, cultural appropriation. <laughs> Check this out. Now, this one, let me put this in order. This one, I'm crazy to happy to have. Nice, nice. Watch this. Watch this. Oh man, Maelstrom, some killer cover like that series. Is it? I don't know this series at all. Who who was the artist for this? Like, very uh, fantasy, right? Chicho, those Lone Wolf and Cub are the same ones later printed in those small trade paperback. First published 1970. Okay, cool. So those are the ones that I've read in the small paperbacks. Uh, booklets check this out the meta barons by jojowski jimzes and mobius man you gotta be kidding me right look at this number one number one right okay number one number two and this is a space opera greetings brando hits this is a space opera and this guy here jerzowski he was in discussions to direct dune which is another space opera right and this is a space opera about sort of it's a, sort of a tribute to frank herbert's dune um sort of a tr sort of different families uh, in the far into the future that rule over the galaxy really right 
you love the meta barons cool 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 i've only read a few pages that's it Oh, space opera, your passions. This is, I think this is supposed to be one of the best ones. Right? That was number three. Here's number four. Some have amazing Travis Cheris art. Cool, cool, cool. Crap. Oh, man. I just bought the hardcover collection of Meta Barons. It's a solid read so far. I'm not sure if those single issues are from that same run or later. This is the first. Uh, uh, Meta Barons made their first appearance in the Incal, I believe. So this is the first series of the Meta Barons. So if it's starting from number one, this would be it. This is number five. Yeah, the Incal. The characters originally appeared in the Incal. Right. Oh, look at this guy, trippy. The trials of agnar number six look at that pretty dark cover so i don't know how well it's going to come out here's number 10 so we're missing uh number seven eight nine this is number 10 very nice such a crazy story so far cool 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 i have one of the hard covers i got manor baron's the third hard cover number 12. haha <laughs> yeah it did look like mark Gamble. okay so those are the manor barons that we got oh here's another one Alpha and Omega Meta Barons. Cool. Some dark stuff indeed. Let me put these guys here. Yeah. We got this one too. Necroscope. Brian Lomi. This is the second print from Malibu. Salad, meow, meow, meow. and then check this one out here let me put these guys in too oh i got a okay nice yeah i know the puma blues number one now i don't know if this is the first print either okay what are we waiting what are we waiting for necroscope the cover i'm gonna crack this one open the puma i just want to see if this is the first print or not look at that alpha and omega inside cherished art you'll love it oh really okay i'm gonna crack it open let me crack this one open uh, puma blues and this is from uh, Dave Sims Publishing Company, Aardvark Publishing. Ah, you've been a sucker for holographic <laughs> covers. Right. Let me see if this is the first print. I'd be surprised if it is. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Second printing. This one is a second printing. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're playing. Oh man, Puma Blues. Classic as well. I have the hardcover, but haven't made haven't made my way uh, all through it. Oh really? I've never I don't know this series at all. Uh I just brought uh of storage of my uncanny x-men nice oh wow beautiful whoa very nice look at that one ninety nine to two thirteen also <laughs> There was a second printing, Dave, Dave, Dave Sims, right? Why not? 
he did he did amazing for independent comics right So, Puma Blue is number one. Here's number three. Here's number 22. Cool. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of power to humanity. Now, check this out. Cheris did half of that Alpha and Omega. Oh, the Alpha and Omega we're going to look at. Let me bring out the Alpha and Omega. Let's take a look at that, too. Where is the Alpha and Omega? Let's crack this open. Oh, no, this is the Metaverse. Come on. Metaverse, Alpha and Omega will be here. Here's Alpha and Omega. I'm going to crack this open so we look at the artwork. <laughs> the kitty cats want to come in here. Like mint condition. Fantastic. Like, like this, doesn't even crack. Ooh, oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I don't know if it comes out in full glory in the. Like, this hasn't been cracked. I don't want to crack it yet. Ah, oh, here's some. Oh, it's an anthology. It's got multiple stories. Here's another one. A different artist right oh wow look at this look at this close your eyes all around <laughs> nice I gotta read oh man so much to read so much to read so little time so little time Check this out. We're talking about Julian Assange. Real war stories, right? Uh, you got Alan Moore writing in the story as well. There's a whole bunch of whole bunch of artists and writers that have written this. Real war stories. Okay. I believe this is the second print. I believe it's the second print, but I'm going to crack it open. It needs a new bag on board anyway. It might be the first print. Check that out. All right. So this one would be in uh, probably... Yeah, I'd probably give it as like 6.5 grade. Fantastic. Beautiful. Right? Real war stories. Now, this is number one. I want to show you number two. One of my favorite indie publishers. Ecl yeah, Eclipse Comics. These guys, they put out some of the best comics ever published in history. Uh, in the 1980s, I believe they were around. They Were, were they around in the late 1970s as well, Crack? But they're around in the 1980s. Phenomenal comic books. Phenomenal comic books. Now check this out. They were printing stuff no one else would print. Like story-wise. And here. Here's an example of one. Here's Real War Stories number two. Should be number two. I don't see the number two sign on it. But should be number two. 80s and 90s yeah there were 90s early 90s maybe right check this out i looked this up this i believe should have smetley butler's war is a racket 
in comic book format. We did a reading of Smetley Butler's War is a Racket and we're a champions of creator, a champion of creator rights. Check this out, Citizen Soldier. I just want to make sure of this because this is phenomenal. If it's got War is a Racket, check it out. Let me show you this without the glare. Looks like 1970s they did a graphic novel. I think that was Saber. Oh wow! Didn't they do trading cards as well? Maybe. Right. Here's. Oh yes. Hell yes. Right. It's like an anthology. So here's one. Right. I didn't know this comic existed. I didn't know this existed. Check this out check that we got to read this we need to read this i read the, we did an asmr book reading of this soft-spoken lay overlaid with mathematics looking at the war racket right at the calculation setup smedley butler's war is a racket awesome written by Let's see if this is going to focus. Right. Fantastic. Look at this. I didn't know this existed. I didn't know this existed. How many comic books can you read in one day? Depends. Early image, about a hundred. Neil Gaiman, Alan Moore, probably two. <laughs> awesome. Very happy to have this. Phenomenal. Look at this. Oh, wow. 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 What? And there was only two issues in the series. And there's only two issues in the series. Do you prefer comics than movie series? Uh, no, it all depends. I like both mediums. I think the uh, Sama, but I think uh, there are certain things that you can do in the comic book medium that cannot be replicated in the movie uh, by film. Uh, usually, and almost all the comic book movies that you've seen, uh, stories that you've seen the source material the comic books are superior than the movies by a long shot iran kachara serial killer maggie trading cars to name a few really they did iran contra trading cards i gotta look into this man check this out the ride i don't know this series the ride number one from image oh the serial click collection you had here's I don't know this is a ride number one as well I guess it's a special cover right oh my god during the 1980s Eclipse bought out a few uh, brought out a new line of the non-fiction non sports trading cars edited by Yurno Wood controversial political subjects such as the iran contra scandal the savings and loan crisis the aids epidemic and the kenny assassination as well as true crime accounts of serial killers mass murders the mafia and organized crime were covered in these oh wow 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 check this out silver heel number two i don't know the series rendall how are you doing Silver Heels number three. Yornwood is such an important figure in comics. Sex and Violence, Sin City, Frank Miller. Her editorials in those comics were always great. Really crack. I need to learn more about her. I need to learn more about her. Check this out. Here's a series, more recent series. 
uh, I actually have issue number one and two, but this was sold as a in the lot. Remember, this is still from the Lone Wolf and Cub lot, right? Strange Fruit number one. It's supposed to be really good. I f skipped through, I, f I flipped through the first issue, this issue, and it looked really good. Didn't get a chance to read it. Eclipse uh, bought out a few PC comics totals uh when pc folded oh really pacific uh, comics yeah strange fruit number two my typing is really horrible today damn phone damn phone strange fruit number three and i don't have three and four and now we do uh, strange fruit is about uh, the civil rights movement I don't know I flipped through it I haven't read it but it was very highly uh, acclaimed like people were raving about the series and the name obviously is uh, uh, holiday uh, based on uh, Billy Holiday's song strange fruit that Nino Simone did a cover for as well right strange fruit hanging in the autumn wind strange fruit oh i forget the lyrics we read the lyrics but i forget it check this out tales of terror number eight yeah the style is phenomenal for strange fruit and then check this one out this one i didn't know either but team nippin barry blair created I don't know if that title will go over well now. Not very PC, I guess. Such a heartbreaking song. I could listen, listen to watch you for hours. It's so intriguing. Even though I'm kind of new to come. Uh, glad you're enjoying the stream, uh, Sama. Sama Zoo. Here's Team Nippin number three. And Team Nippin number five. So that was one lot. All of these comics that you saw, we got for $22.22. $22.22. That was this lot. Right? A lot of 42 indie comics. I believe those were all the ones in there. Right? So 53 cents a pop. With shipping, it would have been like another $20. Uh, so you could have said it was a dollar a pop if you're just buying that lot right man I I have to go but I'm loving these books you show awesome crack I hope you have a fantastic Sunday <laughs> thank you for all the info thank you for the care package brother very very much appreciate it very much appreciate it now another haul lot that we got check this out I gotta flip these guys around. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yes, please. Check this out. All oh, these ones, these ones, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sweet. Oh my okay check this out check this out oh, 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 oh. this is let me find this for you let me find this for you where is it okay i can close the ride real war stories oh by the way here's this info on the real war stories i'm gonna link it up because smedley butler check this out okay that's the real war stories okay north guard i'm gonna close meta barons we're gonna close team nip and we're gonna crow close here atomica check this out atomica from 1989 this is number two of six they're like trade paperbacks oh here let me change this up and it's an anthology and there's tons of people that have written for this like here let me while i'm here dave mckeon uh 
covers. Okay, Dave Lloyd script, uh, Jamie Hewitt, Philip Bond, uh, Charles Vess, uh, Dave Gibbons, okay, John Higgs, Mike Magn uh, Magnola, that's uh, Hell Hellboy, uh, Mark Farmer, Paul Guy, Simon Bisley, Matt Wagner, Jamie Hewitt, Paul Chadwick, uh, Ted McKeever, Brian Ballard, Nick, uh, like it just the list just keeps on going keeps on going uh oh my like barry windsor smith has done a script and a story in this like here i'm going to give you guys the link here's the link in the chat okay so you guys see it check this out a1 atomic uh, atomic press okay this is a thick book it's a trade paperback okay amazing deal mint condition mint condition okay oh yeah what did we buy this this lot for let me show you what we bought this lot for let me bring this out this lot was the most expensive one we paid 41.89 for it okay 39 books came out to a little bit over a dollar a pop right a little bit over a dollar so we paid twice as much for these than all the other ones okay that's the third the fourth one down here this guy right there okay let's go through it so very happy to have this number two number three Number four, Simon Bisley cover. Okay. Awesome. Here is A1 from this one's Atomic Press. This one's Epic Comics. A1, Simon Bisley cover. Awesome. Awesome. All right fantastic look at this look at that look at that this is great summertime reading great summertime reading in the same lot we had these guys let me show you these guys watchman before watchman okay the comedian so this is before watchman number one the comedian Comedian number one, comedian number two. Right. Awesome. Comedian number three. The comedian number six. We got before Watchmen number one, uh, Minutemen number one. Time to whisper for five minutes. <laughs> we look at the covers, we whisper. I get a little too excited when sh when I do comic book hauls. Rorschach number one. Nice. Osmandius number one Rorschach yeah yeah that's you other god and Osmandius number two this is a beautiful cover this is a beautiful cover the art style is sharp what series going uh, going to be your favorite to read oh man I, I, the war stuff I, I really want to read okay the bit i'm gonna there's a couple more here this cover is amazing osmandius number two look at that if this was the cover of a golden age book this would be going for two thousand dollars 
Beautiful cover. Beautiful cover. These things. These ones. A1. These look phenomenal. Like, really. <laughs> Take a look at this. I don't know this series. This is from the 1980s. Dead Corpse. I'm assuming it's like zombie stuff. Helix Publications. That was Dead Corpse number one. Here's Dead Corpse number two. Here's Dead Corpse. Number three. That will give you 90s vibe, indeed. <laughs> 80s were a precursor to the 90s. Here's number four. This is Terra, this next one, Terra Obscura. I don't know this one either. Oh, let me just fix this up. I don't know this one either. Number one, I looked into it, but didn't really dive too deep into it real men don't stay dead <laughs> is that what it said real men don't stay dead <laughs> real men don't stay dead <laughs> check this out elder god nice catch real men don't stay dead <laughs> awesome fun so terra obscura number one Terra Obscura number two. Got Warren Ellis. Planetary number one. Very nice. Very nice. I don't have this in my collection. Glad to have it. Check this out. Check this out. Let me put these in order first print of Gideon Falls Jeff Lemire and this one is I would say it's in uh, it's got a couple of dings on the spine uh, so 9.2 right. awesome first print very happy to have Gideon Falls number two for Sprint. Awesome. Very happy to have. <laughs> Check this one out. <laughs> Total 80s. Reagan's Raiders from Salon Publications. Number one. Reagan's Raiders. Look at this propaganda. Nastiness. The ultimate patriotic superhero book. Reagan's Raiders. My God. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Here's a French version of G.I. Joe number nine. Came out 1983. French version of G.I. Joe number nine. Cheryl, oh brother, I know. It was in the lot. <laughs> Here's Huck number one. I have this. We actually sold a copy of this for like ten dollars or something when we did a sale. Right. <laughs> Reagan's Raiders. <laughs> we should should we do a reading on it? Reagan's Raiders. Oh look at these, look at these, look at these. Oh very nice, very nice. Check this out. Okay, Swamp Think number 140. Okay. Collector's edition. Swamp Think number 140. G.I. Joe. French version. Solomon Kane number one. Sp 
Spawn, The Dark Ages, number one. Beautiful copy. Spawn, Dark Ages, number one. Part of me wants to say yes. Read it now. The other, mm, no. <laughs> no, I think we're going to skip it. <laughs> Spawn, The Dark Ages, number three. Oh, not number three, number 13. Swamp Thing's cover looks like an Iron Maiden album cover. Yeah, let's check it out again. Dark, yeah, does indeed. Swamp Thing's a great read. Who's a... Oh, this is Grant Morrison, Mark Miller, Philip Hester. Grant Morrison, very good. Check this out. Chapter one, strange things six. This is the uh, photo cover. It's like a one of the special covers, I guess. Alternate covers. Number one, strange things six. This, and then stranger things number two. Again, photo cover. How many pages is it? Is it in one of? Uh, this comic it varies uh, comic book pages they vary anywhere between 24 pages so they can they usually do 24 32 36 48 56 um, or more right usually uh, if a publisher is being legit uh, they'll do at least at least you know 32 pages or something like this the some of the big uh, the big two publishers they only do 24 page uh, stories Stranger Things number three. Slick Mick. Also interested. Have you ever seen the artwork title The Death? Oh, yeah, The Death Dealer. I have the collection. One, two, and three. The prestige format. Think there have been a few comics centered around him as well, but I'm not too informed on it. Yeah. There's a prestige format Death Dealer that came out, which was awesome. Oh, my pleasure, uh, Samzu. Here's the legend of Mother Sarah. Don't know this. Looked it up. Didn't really see anything to pop out. Matrix Online. Check this out. Matrix Online. <laughs> you like Mother Sarah? What? <laughs> Cheryl, what's going on? Check this out. Did you say you want to see Mortal Kombat in comics? Here's the first issue of Mortal Kombat in comics. I believe it's the first appearance of Mortal Kombat in comics from the 1980s. First issue, collector's item. Who knew when they say first issue, collector's item, we're actually be a first issue, collector's item. Right? Mortal Kombat number one. Very happy to have. Here is Kiss. Psycho Circus number two. I always saw G.I. Joe number one was my first comic, but it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. Yeah, that's a good. That's selling for crazy price right now. Slick Mick. Oh my god, insane. Mortal Kombat. So awesome. So awesome. <laughs> Here's Alice Cooper, The Last Temptation by Neil Gaiman. Right? Neil Gaiman, story, and Dave McKeon cover right Neil Gaiman's story it's a good story not top 10 or even 100 for sure and I probably have a soft spot because it was one of the first series I had more than 10 of but I like the story concept which one Cheryl mother are you talking about uh, the legend of mother Sarah or we're talking about Mortal Kombat I was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle number one. It was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Oh, nice. Legend of Mother Sarah. Serious? I don't know this series at all. It's good? Not in the top 100? Ah, no, for sure. Oh, check this out. 
that's one of the first comics you ever bought very cool oh mortal kombat is great new movie coming out yeah uh said going to be brutal and capture the essence of the franchise i hope so i hope they were really toned it down in the movies that have come out so far right check this out the a1 true life bikini confidential um the cover for this is uh, da, 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 uh, hughes uh, no what's his name oh man what's his name the cover for this is 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 where is the bikini uh, how, i want to say howard hughes i keep on adam hughes adam hughes cover i want to say howard hughes it can't be howard hughes check this out bikini confidential All right number one there's only one issue of it volume one right adam hughes cover nice cover right? nice cover right. the writers for this uh henry brian ballard gary Le lich uh sin city 2 alan martin jamie hewitt uh bojo fairies alan moore and then the rest john bolton adam hughes adam davis mark schultz dave elliott bob burden uh peter milligan john higgins uh will simpson and a stack of more other people fantastic and this is in mint condition beautiful you missed this cover i'll show it to you again elder god try to get good lighting on that <laughs> very happy to have this check this one out we bought this as a 25 center and it goes for a lot more but body bags body bags number one of four very good very good cheryl and actually i don't think it's even a 10 issue set it's an it said it's an ish, eight issue set but yes one of my first sets back in the days when i was still trying to find lines uh i liked uh so yeah maybe just nostalgia talking i have it upstairs maybe time to break it out again awesome let us know if you end up breaking it up again uh break it open see if it's good or not i mean dark horse it's a dark i believe it was dark horse dark horse was putting out some amazing comics uh, where is it pooper scooper where'd it go what the hell i lost it already yeah dark horse comics and it's a uh, manga dark horse manga so fantastic okay this one i i didn't know this existed i'm very happy that it exists and i've mentioned this before simon bisley is one of my favorite artists of all time and this is dread by bisley all of it bisley dread and judge dread is phenomenal right phenomenal judge dread by bisley yes and it's like a prestige format like almost a graphic novel i guess awesome well graphic novel fantastic fantastic now those are the comics that i ended up buying but for some reason this guy sent me a bunch of other comics so i'm going to show you these guys and then i'm going to contact them and say like why did you include these manga yeah i've read some manga did you see our lone wolf and cub let me sort this out guys for a second Like, we got Lone Wolf and Cub in this hall. Check this out. Where is... Let me put these guys here. We got four Lone Wolf and Cubs. <laughs> nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. And of course, Akira in black and white, Tekken Tactarian. Right. Very happy to have these ones. And a first print. And a first print. Now, check this out. The guy sent me this, these books, but they're not. Uh, I didn't buy these ones, so I do have to contact them and see what's the scoop. I want to make sure whoever bought these ends up getting them. I got a Commendium of the Dread Comics. Obviously, awesome for collection purposes to have the individual comics, but um, com Compendiums really save space in my tiny little CIA quarters. I have a few 2000 AD comics. Oh, 2000 AD. I wish I had some of those. Check this out. Uh, I don't know anything about this one. Uh, Morning Star Special Comico. It's not supposed to be here, but it is. Haha. <laughs> e Man. First comics. E Man. Number one. Sub Zero, nice. Sub Zero is awesome. Mean little mugger. Check this out. Sank. Uh, there should be more of it here. Number three. Oh, this is like this. Here's Sanctuary. Uh, Viz Premier Comics Sanctuary number two. Sanctuary number three. Green Lantern number one. Tangent Comics. This looks interesting. I don't know this at all. Tangent Comics. I don't think I've ever seen a Tangent Comic comic book. Hmm. From 1997. Yeah, James Robinson. Interesting. Let's put these guys here. Manhunter. Archie Goodwin, Walt Sim uh, Simmons, Manhunter number one. Cool. He's Manhunter number two. Oh, sorry, number one. But earlier, I guess. That one was DC. This is DC as well. But this one would have been the first one. First series, Manhunter number one. Let me put these in order. I'll show you these in order. The rest of these. Oh, there's the sanctuary stuff, the rest of it. Here, let me put these in order. And I'll show you these. Here's sanctuary number one. So there was one, two, three, right? Green Lantern almost jumped out of my chair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Different Green Lantern. Not Green Lantern from Justice League, I assume. No, it's not. It's uh, it's a different publishing house. Uh, Green Lantern from Justice League is DC Comics. This is Tangent Comics. Um, should we crack it open? Let's take a look what is what it's like inside. Looks interesting small press i believe 1997 cool but yeah let's put it back Here's some additional comics here. Haha. <laughs> Let me show you these ones and then I'll show you the last set. Uh, 
Cable number one. This came out in the early 90s. I have this. Here's cage number one. I have this as well. Very 90s. Marvel Mangaverse. Does someone mention manga? Sama? Samazu? Cool. Check this out. Mangaverse. It's already open, so let's take a look at the inside of it. Nice. Looks good. <laughs> no, I like it. I like uh, uh, like cartoon manga. I like it. The manga is amazing. Magneto Rex. Long live the king. I don't know this one. It's Magneto Marvel Comics, right? Yeah, the manga. Samsu, you like. Here is Magneto and the Magnetic Man. Number one. Everything's number one. Berser no, I haven't read Berserker. I've seen some of Berserker uh, uh, anime. Anime, I, uh, I watch a lot of anime. Tons of anime. Nightmares from Eclipse. Nice. Number one. Right. Cool. Here's Pulp Fiction. Number one. Saucy cover. And here's a set of one series. Ultimates. The Ultimates. Mark Miller. Number one. Number two. Number four, no number three. Number five, oh, two number fives, two number fives. Number six, number seven. What was the last anime I watched? I'm watching uh, My Hero Academia second season right now. I watched the One Punch Man, the little specials they had for uh, like their 15 minutes of pop. Uh, um, yeah, like there's six of them. Those were funny. One Punch Man is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ultimates number nine. My man, you good at multitasking. I'm pretty good at multitasking. Oh my god. Urobutsuka is my manga style. Urutsupucho. Oh, I can't even pronounce that. Ultimates number 10. Ultimates number 11. Ultimates number 12. And I just watched uh, la yesterday, I watched uh, MFKS uh, animation based on a French comic book series that Net uh, Netflix put out. It's a movie. Super good. Super good. The comic book is coming out in June. I'm going to grab a set for myself. And Ultimates number 13. So there's a set here that we weren't supposed to get. Um, so I have to figure out, you know, what the guy wants me to do with this. Um, first time I've gotten comics that weren't supposed to be.
coming my way <laughs> which is oh oh well uh, not sure what the what the process is to uh, I've had my comics sent somewhere else right uh, but never gotten comics that I would, didn't order sorry it's too spicy to switch it's too spicy okay I'll, I'll have to ch link it up to me in discord oh god I'll check it out I don't mind spicy spicy fun gang that's our comic book haul I hope you enjoyed oh, fantastic buy really the shipping was a little bit too much uh, again but I guess we had a set of comics we shouldn't have had here so <laughs> maybe that kicked it up an extra five bucks but uh, shipping is just is what it is now right it's super expensive and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange the publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist and if you are still fooled by uh, corporate propagandists uh if they've convinced you that uh a character of a person really matters that you should care if you like the person or not if they're revealing war crimes of the state then consider yourself foolish gang thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed this live stream i hope you enjoyed this comic book haul tomorrow night we're doing music and then we got current events going on we got comic book reading going on we got mathematics going on we got talking about uh addiction going on so we got a nine live stream seven live streams or something scheduled for the next week uh, you can check out our uh, schedule on our patreon page right so i have it pinned when i'm doing live streams when there is a uh, schedule of live streams going on i have it pinned on my patreon page so you're definitely welcome to go there and check out what we got going on all got motivation is more important than the event yeah yeah one punch is iconic and serious one punch is an amazing amazing series i haven't read the manga but anime it's phenomenal so so good one punch man it's got so much ethics in it so much politics in it so much humanity in it so much humor in it it's absolutely fantastic highly recommend one punch man it has the bald kid elder god indeed <laughs> so good gang aside from that thank you for being here i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this work is about patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything beyond paywall everything's creative Commons. share and share like and everything's layered on mathematics if you follow this work and you think this work deserves your support patreon is a great way to do so that was the last set didn't you have one more no that was it i had the uh, care package sent to us by uh, crack one of the people that's following us here and the care package was well i won't take him out again but basically strangers in paradise i'm very happy about this as well very happy about this as well <laughs> and if i had another set we'll probably continue doing it right uh but 144 comics not bad actually more than that because of these guys right uh gang we are live streaming on twitch if you want to follow this live stream real uh, in real time as is happening participate in the chat which is where you want to be at and gang for those of you who are supporting this work on twitch thank you very much for the support for the follows for subscribing for bits for points for participating in these live stream and showing up here and mods thank you for taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines parlor vk and gab and you can come to our discord page anytime you want and type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including whoop, including our discord page that we have discord server that we have where people are sharing a lot of information and you're definitely welcome to join us there and here is uh the next live stream tomorrow evening at 8 30 p.m pdt my time pacific west coast of canada sharing our favorite music lyrics round number six right bring your favorite music lyrics share it with us we'll read them and talk about them right 
for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream on SensorTube, on BitChute, on Rumble, and on Odyssey. And there's a handful of you that are supporting this work on SensorTube by joining SensorTube membership. There's a button there. Thank you very much for the support, gang. It is in large part because of the collective support we're getting on all these live streams that we're able to continue to do what it is that we're doing. And I know I thank you from the bottom of my heart, gang. Thanks for being here, everybody. You got 30 right? <laughs> lyrics. Nice. And if you can make it, music lyrics tomorrow night, gang. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. Bye, everyone. <laughs>